Hello and welcome back to another of our videos. Firstly let me say thanks for coming back, it's much appreciated. What we're going to do today is have a look at our vanity kit range. Not all of it, just some of it. Um, the part we're going to turn today is for this bit of kit here. This is our premium bronze vanity mirror kit and we're going to turn a section to go on the top there as you can see. Quite a nice bit of kit just on its own. Opens up there with a little push button release and has twin mirrors on the inside there. We obviously can't turn everything today, but I'm going to quickly show you some of the other product, products that we do in the range. Uh, we do a slightly less expensive chrome vanity mirror kit. This is one I've already finished with a Corian top, and that just pulls apart and opens like so. We also do a small pillbox in chrome. Again, this is one I finished in Corian with a little push button lid and three sections inside. A mint box or a pill box, whichever you like to call it, and we also do a rectangular box, which is that one there. And you may think to yourself, What's that got to do with turning? Well, you can use it for flat work. And we have done um, a curved tube and then sliced the tube off and set it on the top here. Uh, and I was hoping to show you that today. Unfortunately, for the life of me, I can't find it anywhere. Um, and last but by no means least is this little bit of kit here. This is a, um, a bag hanger. It's got a little bit of rubber non-slip matter on the back there. And you'll see when I hold that up um, that it unfurls, it pulls out and twists. And if you can imagine my hand is the table, that sits on the table and you hang your bag underneath there like that. Uh, and obviously the space there to have a turn top in Korean wood, whatever you like, and it packs back up like that with little magnets. So we're going to get some wood, go to the lathe and show you how we turn a little top for this bit of kit here. I hope it's useful for you. So I've got my blank and I've got my project kit and you can see that that's just about the right size um, for that. Um, I'm going to mount this on the lathe by sticking it to a block um, and then rough turning it and we'll have a look and see what that looks like when I've done that in a moment. So here you can see in the chuck I've got a rough block of wood in there. This is the piece of wood that I'm actually going to put on top of the project kit and this is a little bit of um, burr ash. I'm now going to take my blank and I'm also going to use my calipers just to measure the top section there just to check what size disc we need. So we're looking at around about 57, 58 millimetres. Um, that small difference won't make a huge amount uh, of difference to the project. So we're going to trim this down to the right diameter. Now we've got the right diameter, I'm going to decide the depth that I want this piece of wood and it's likely to only be probably five or six millimetres. I'm now going to put a little mark about five millimetres on there so I can see where I'm going to trim this piece off. There we go. I'm not sure whether the camera will quite pick that up but we're now going to start to part this off and then look at shaping this part and doing the final finishing. Now we've got a mark where we can see the parts going to be separated off. We can look at just curving this edge knowing that the bottom part is the right diameter. So we're just going to curve this one over uh, and now is the time where if you've got texturing tools uh, or want to add any of the shapes you can add them into this bit. For the purpose of this video I'm just going to leave this blank and finish it and then stick it onto the project kit. I'm now just going to check the finish on here and then seal it and look at uh, putting some coating on it. Now 
Now I was going to show the parting off, unfortunately I've got a bit carried away and I've taken it off already. The important thing when parting off, and you'll see there's a scorch mark where I've taken it off the back, is to get this part completely flat when you're parting it off here. And if you get, as you normally do, a little nubble at the end, um, just sand that down until it's flat. And you can then see basically how with the kit that disc's going to fit in the centre there and finish it off quite nicely. What I am going to do with this part is actually just put a little bit of sealer on the bottom before gluing it onto the project. So we've got our disc that we've turned and our kit and I'm going to use um, this Mitre Bond um, CA two part glue um, to stick the two pieces together. Um, I'm going to put the liquid part on the back of the disc we've just turned. As I said, this has been sealed. I'll put it that way up, I can uh, pick it up. I'm just going to pop the spray onto that part. And now what we're going to do is simply drop it onto the centre. Press that down. And that will be set in a couple of seconds. And there you can see we have uh, a finished product. If you wanted to make this bit shiny you can obviously wax it up and use that on the polisher again but hopefully you'll agree if I hold that up to the camera that's quite a nice finished project it's quite simple and easy to do and not only that it doesn't use much wood the piece of wood that I put on the lathe I'll just turn the camera around slightly so you can see it the burn marks are my fault for not sharpening my tools but there's enough in this little block probably I should think to do another two pieces um, to do the same size project. Very quickly before we go, I said there was enough on here to do another one, so here at Speed is me doing another one for the bag hanger kit. I hope that's been useful. Here is the finished article. Uh, I'll hold that a bit closer to the camera and we think that makes quite a nice finished project and a nice gift. There we go, you can see the parts inside there. So thanks very much for watching. Hope it's been useful. As always, if you have any questions, drop us an email. It's always nice to hear from you and we look forward to seeing you at the next video. Bye bye for now.